Hi right, guys, how's it going? Um, today I want to talk to you about a website I'm quite fond of called title-builder.com. I'll put a link in the description for you. Um, it's a website that generates keywords for your items on eBay. And yeah, I think it's quite a nice little site. It's saved me quite well, it's not saved me, it's helped me sell items quite a few times now. Um, literally all you do is come to the website, click get your item title, and then on the next page, there's a drop down box that you want to be selecting. So once it's loaded, here we go. Right, yeah, this box here, you basically want to change it to whatever country you want. Um, I don't think they've got an Ireland section. Yeah, they have. So all you Ireland members of the Facebook group, um, you can change it to that if you want. But generally, I tend to set it as United Kingdom. Now, if you're part of the global shipping program, set it to whatever you want. But yeah, I, I normally stick to the United Kingdom. So the first thing you're going to notice is this icon here. Ignore that. It does absolutely nothing. It just sits there spinning around and around and around. So don't wait for it to load because there's no need to. The first thing that you want to be doing after you've changed your country is obviously entering in your items. Now, as I've said, I use it. Um, I, I tend to use it if an item's not sold after the second time of listing. Um, if I buy an item that I'm not familiar with, so I've just got a bunch of Fisher Price toys, I've not not sold them before, so I'll probably find out what each item is called and then just give them a quick throw in this keyword tool and see what it throws back for us. So let me give you a quick example. Uh, my Mills and Boons books are selling quite well, so I don't need to change the title, but we'll use them as an example. So press enter, I'll click the magnifying glass, and if we scroll down, we can see all the most popular keywords here. So this tool actually uh, arranges them in order of what is the hottest. So as you can see, and is first, followed by meals, boon, books, modern, x, romance, and so on and so on. Now this is quite a good um, return to be fair. It shows you the listing images as well. Ah, there's my one, sweet. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's that surprised me that. Anyways, um yeah, so straight away I'll choose something like Mills and Boone's book book, sorry. Um I sell them in batches of thirty, so times thirty. They're romance, paperback books, so uh, put something like good romance paperback books, um going on there sorry yeah uh, you can basically just try and make it sound English like it's someone that's actually wrote it and not just been copied from a site um, but it gives you some nice keywords to use basically like I wouldn't have thought of putting romance in there or, or paperback to be honest um, yeah so basically try it out you never know you might get a couple of good keywords that you've never actually thought of before over here on the left this one has only returned the one header. Uh, normally you get a variety of four. I think it's hot, extra, search, and popular. Now, each one of them will have a question mark next to it. So if you hover over it, you'll get the pop-up box come up that tells you what, what that header's for, basically. So this extra keywords. That is keywords being used by most sellers. So obviously, on this one, we'd want to select something that's down here, it's not got too much competition. So, romance books would be good. Um, paperback, as I've said, historical. Now, I ain't sure if these are actually keywords that people are searching for. I assume they are for this keyword tool to return them, but the fact that pe other people are actually using just them ones there, so from books to 10, tells me that people are actually searching them. So, I'd definitely go and choose some of these ones from here. Um, the popular ones and the hot ones are keywords that pretty much 80% upwards of sellers are using so try to avoid them obviously if you can't then use some but as a, again as a general rule of thumb like try and either go for the extra ones or the search when search comes up it's great because they're the ones I, I, I'll always go for the search ones basically um, when you offer it over the question mark for the search one, it actually turns around and states that they're, they're keywords that buyers are actually using. So, obviously, you use them keywords, buyers are going to land on your listing, and 
so on. So, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. As I said, title it's title-builder.com. There's a dis uh, link in the description, sorry. Um, so, yeah, go ahead, check it out, and let us know what you think. Um, if anyone else has any tools or like uh, websites that they use for listing, let us know, and I'll um, do a video of them as well if you want us to. So, yeah, guys, cheers for watching. Take it easy, and keep them listings rolling. Bye.